Good afternoon and welcome to Manor Park Classics here in sunny Runcorn. I'm back from my holidays today, so we're going to have a look at the new arrivals that have come in whilst I've been away. Um, an interesting selection of cars, all available to buy at our auction on the 13th of April. So, first up, we have this lovely Mercedes-Benz SL320, finished in the silver with the black leather and the wood inlay, riding on the alloys, nice car that, just under 100,000 miles, um, but by the looks of it, in really good condition on the wings actually, whereas these tend to go on the inside edges, but that one looks pretty clean. Uh, very tidy car that, interior is nice as well. Then moving on to the next one, it's another SL. This one's a 350, later version, with the facelifted front end. It's in black, black leather, so it's black on black, on black, with the roof. Um, about 60,000 miles, that one. Um, that's a nice car, I've driven that one, that drives absolutely beautifully. Next up is a British classic. So here we have a 1963 Triumph TR4. It's in this old English white colour with the wires, good chrome. Now this car actually went out to the United States when it was new. Uh, it was built in 1963, came back to the UK in 2001, upon which it was then treated to a full restoration, um, which has held up remarkably well, actually. Um, this one's got the four-cylinder engine rather than later six-cylinder. It's got the black leather interior piped in white, a nice motor litre steering wheel there, black carpets, lots of chrome ring dials as well for you. Great 60s looking British classic, that one. Moving on to something at the other end of the spectrum, really. How we describe this, a British classic, maybe not, maybe more German, but as you can see, it's a Bentley. It's a Bentley GTC. This is the W12 version, so you get that beautiful W12 six cylinder engine providing plenty of grunt i understand when this was new it would do 195 miles an hour flat out which is um more than fast enough to, for today's rows this is actually finished in a lovely lovely light blue metallic don't see many in this color actually with the cream leather upholstery the wood inlay the wood dash the blue rim steering reel as well riding on the 20 inch alloys that is a whole heap of car for the money. Estimate it somewhere between 19 and 21,000 pounds. I think when that car was new, it was 150,000 pounds. So, um, want to consider that one. As is this one. So this one's actually a no reserve. It's another SL, Mercedes SL. It's a SL 500. So it means you get the five, uh, five liter, eight cylinder engine there. It's in the silver with the grey upholstery. It needs a bit of work. It needs a bit of love. It needs a bit of TLC. It runs, starts and drives. It's got a short MOT on it. But like I say, it just needs a little bit of stroking. Next up, for all you four-wheel drive fans out there, a Daihatsu 4-track. So as you can see, this is the commercial version. It's the TDL. It's got the 2.8 litre diesel engine. It's like a big Tonka toy, really, isn't it? I think it looks great. It's obviously had a bit of paint over the years, um, certainly on the bodywork and the front panel here. You've got the benefit of the spotlights, the big chunky tyres as well. Interior, that's not too bad, actually. That's quite clean. That's showing, showing 156,000 miles, that one. But that's, uh, yeah, that's quite a chunky looking, nice looking car, that one. Now, here's something special. I love these. Citroen Saxo VTR. So, a sporty little French number. Um, this one's got an MOT. It's covered just under 60,000 miles. It's an early one, actually, an early series one on a T. Silver with the velour upholstery and the sunroof. You'll get the electric windows as well. Five-speed box. Uh, I think you, these pushed out about 100 brake horsepower but something as light as this, these things really fly. You've got the benefit of the 1.6 litre eight valve engine. The VTS, of course, had the 16 valve version of the same engine. Very clean, actually, that one. Nice alloys, 
nice looking car. Now, talking about nice looking cars, wow, look at this. Super Rolls-Royce Silver Seraph in this blue purple metallic with the cream leather. All the extras, all the toys. Again, a huge amount of car for the money. Uh, somewhere in the region of 35,000 pounds, we'll probably buy this car. Um, very, very nice. Being looked after. Nice low mileage on that one as well. I've driven that. It was, oh, it was just glorious. Beautiful, beautiful. Now then, this little cheeky chap here. This is a Sunbeam Alpine. You don't see many of these. Um, why? Because most of them rotted away. But this one looks pretty sound. It needs a bit of touching in here and there. But just bear in mind, it's 50 plus years old. Nice interior with all the chrome dials. Finished in green on the steels. Now this one will have the 1725 engine, which is a, a fixture of the performance um, engines that, that you saw in, in Roots models of the 60s. I seem to remember that they had one of these in Dr. No. Not that I was around then, but 1961, very, uh, very early James Bond film. He was driving one of these. Um, so yeah, that one's a nice little car, nice little classic, as is this one. Porsche Boxster. Okay, this is the S version. It's in this very, very nice red with a tan leather. It's a manual um, on the alloys. Very clean that, looking at it, X-Reg. Uh, yeah, nice, nice car, nice car. You've got the wind stopper there as well. So you join me here in Hall 1 at Manor Park Classics. Here's a challenging, but very, very interesting restoration project. Now, it's got such a long name, I've had to write it down. So this is a 1936 Alvis Silver Eagle with Cross and Ellis bodywork. And it's a six lighter apparently, which means obviously you get the six side windows. I'm guessing that's what that means. But as you can see, it's a restoration project. It needs a lot of work, but I'm sure and I'm hoping we can find a home for it. You've got lots of bits and bobs actually in the car as well. Obviously, it's been stood a while. But hopefully, somebody looks at this video and you think, you know what? I need an Alvis in my life. Well, this could be the car for you. So keep an eye out on our website for more details on this one. So that's all the new arrivals for this week. If you see something that tickles your fancy, give us a ring in the office or have a look at our website, manaparkclassics.com, where there's lots and lots of details on there, more pictures and videos. And uh, we look forward to seeing you at the next auction on the 13th of April.